Every painting shows a face Every dream belongs to someone Every song is signed with pride Every color has a meaning Every note conveys a feeling Every stroke of pen adds something new Every shape is fun to watch Hello, I'm Chuck Kelly, founder and president of Bridge Builders International, a Christian Oregon-based organization with a focus on the nation of Latvia. I first saw painting by Thomas Kincaid 10 years ago when my wife Nancy and I visit a small art gallery in Sacramento, California. I was astonished by the sense of peace that was apparent in the canvas lithographs, scenes of the English countryside, California mountains, and Victorian mansions at Christmas. Then I thought of my vision to connect the very best specialists in America with Latvian life and culture. Someday, I would love to bring a high-quality artist like Thomas Kincaid to Latvia to minister in a way that no one else can. Latvians are lovers of all things artistic. This is expressed in magnificent architecture, spectacular musical events, and a deep admiration for artists and musicians. Saturday, July 10th. After recruiting additional staff and volunteers and making the final preparations for this unique week of ministry, we met the Kincaid party, Tom, Nanette, two of their four daughters, Merritt and Chandler, at the airport with a large, customary bouquet of flowers. Sunday, July 11th. We began the day with a walking tour in Riga's Old Town, and then arrived at Salvation Temple, where the Kincaids were warmly welcomed by pastors Janusz Schmitz and Peter Samoylich. During the service, Tom greeted the people and shared a brief testimony. He spoke about how he learned to use his talent for God's glory and encouraged the congregation to use whatever talents they have as service to the Lord. In the afternoon, our party headed for the country home of former President Olmanis. While the rest of us relaxed and enjoyed one another's company, Tom put on his game face, searching for the motif to be painted. It's fascinating to look at one's surroundings through the eyes of an artist. Several of us gathered in a circle to pray for the painting. We did this every day. Tom decided to set up his easel on the president's small boat dock and paint a western view of the lake as the sun kissed the horizon. Soon, Tom came hurrying across the meadow, balancing the fresh painting on his fingertips. President Olmanis was thrilled with Tom's rendition of the sunset over the lake. Monday, July 12th. While Tom's main assignment in Latvia was to paint, Nanette and the girls ministered at the art camp at Barbens Christian School. Each day, about 70 children, including 25 from a local orphanage, came to the school where they not only developed their artistic skill, they learned about the greatest artist of all, the Lord God, who created the beauty of the heavens and the earth. On Monday afternoon, Tom gave the kids at the art camp a drawing lesson. Each child copied Tom's work mark by mark. Some of the children's sketches were remarkable. Tuesday, July 13th. The Kincaid stayed on the ninth floor of the Radisson Hotel with a splendid view of the skyline of Riga. Painting for hours on the hotel balcony, Tom captured the skyline at dusk on canvas, amid questions from visiting radio, television, and newspaper reporters. The painting that emerged is breathtaking in terms of composition, light, and detail. Embracing you, my Lord, delight to see 
Wednesday, July 14th. Bidi New Palace was built in 1860. During the Soviet years, it was used as a health rehabilitation center, but since freedom, it has been refurbished and is used as a place for weddings, receptions, parties, and conferences. On Wednesday, the art camp children came by bus to take a tour of the palace and grounds. Tom was there as well and set up his easel on the bank of a small lake across from the palace. Once again, we prayed for the process and the painting. All over the grounds, children and teachers alike drew, colored, and painted their renditions of the palace. When we brought all the kids together, Tom told them about his painting and answered their questions. It was truly beautiful. Thursday, July 15th. Latvia's famous landscape painter, Wilhelms Purvitis, founded the Latvian Academy of Art around the turn of the century. Today, the art of plein air painting is held high by the vice rector, Dr. Alexis Naumovs. He is one of Latvia's better known artists, and he loves to paint in the open air. When he suggested that it would be interesting to paint side by side with Kincaid, I love the idea. So did Tom. Tom decided to paint the Dome Cathedral, the spiritual symbol of Latvia. First thing in the morning, both masters had set up their canvases side by side. Paintings are a universal language. You don't need a translator. Tom's painting is an impressionistic piece that nevertheless gives attention to detail. It's brilliant, destined to be a classic. Naumov's work was looser and a bit brighter, more reminiscent of French post-impressionistic masters. Friday, July 16th. Just outside the city limits of Riga, on a beautiful lake, in a pristine forest, is the Ethnographic Museum. It's a place where Latvians have brought and reconstructed the old wooden buildings of Latvia from the previous 300 years. Again, after searching for just the right motif, Tom set up his easel in front of a tiny sauna house. As he painted the tiny building, something exciting was going on in other sections of the park. About 125 Latvian and American young people were working on the grounds. They were part of Teiriga, another BBI and Partners project. While Tom was finishing his painting, several of the Teiriga kids gathered around him. He asked the small assembly if any of them were artists. When one girl raised her hand, he put his paintbrush in her hand and brought her to his painting where she added several brilliant blue flowers. She was beaming. Who can fulfill my heart with love again? Who can fulfill my deepest longings? Who can pour healing Friday night was truly memorable. We finished the week with a reception at the House of the Black Kids, a restored 14th century merchant's palace in Old Town. We invited government leaders, artists, pastors, ministry leaders, and those who had come to work at the art camp and at Teiriga. 
about a hundred people came. Tom's paintings were each displayed, as was Professor Naumov's. Also on display was Kincaid's Sunrise Painting of the Cross. More than an artist, he's a man of faith, and he wants to accomplish good things through his art. Thomas Kincaid is known as the painter of light. I think it's even uh, more deeply there is a, a sense of, of hope and positive ideals that are in his paintings. And I don't know about you, but those are uh, those qualities speak to my heart. And so I'm very happy that, Tom, you're here tonight. And that you and girls, we're glad you're coming. us. Um, last week, one of the most prolific, popular, and creative artists in the world visited one of the most beautiful countries in the world. And we see the result, and it's wonderful. Uh, on behalf of the Latvian Institute, I want to thank you for helping us do our job better. Um, our job is to promote Latvia around the world. Your paintings will be carrying Latvia much further than we ever could do with our small budget. The art of Thomas Kincaid is now becoming well known in Latvia. Others tonight have described and will describe the art of Mr. Kincaid from a professional point of view. I will only add that for millions of Americans, his paintings provide a warm, accessible, and optimistic view of life. We are proud that Mr. Kincaid has chosen to bring his work to Latvia. We are confident that this will reflect well on America and help to build even closer links between the United States and Latvia in the cultural sphere. You see, as an artist, I am constantly surrounded by beauty. Uh, I had a dream many years ago that an artist can be a person who can inspire others. But I always wanted to create something that people could really enjoy, an art that was real, hopeful and filled with beauty. So, as part of that dream, I began to think that perhaps an artist could also, in a way, be an ambassador of goodwill. In studying the work of the great master artists of Latvia, I discovered they frequently <coughs> used dramatic clouds and water. Art truly is my passion. It is my passion for several reasons. For one thing, art is a universal language. It can be understood by all. Unlike movies that you see and then leave the theater, or unlike books that you read and then put on a shelf, a painting lasts for centuries oftentimes. And also, we have found that a painting can be shared with many people. Modern methods of art reproduction allow a painting to be shared with millions. My dream with my Latvia paintings is to share them with people back in America. In a way, uh, so that I can be an ambassador of goodwill to take some of the beauty of this place back to my people. And perhaps someday an artist from your beautiful country can come and paint America. Tom described his week in Latvia and then presented copies of Sunrise to both the Latvian government and American embassy. Member of Parliament Einars Bostix accepted the painting on behalf of the Ministry of Children and Families Affair. His remarks were short and powerful. Un bērni ir mūsu 
pēdējā lieta. Mākslai kinkēt sauc par gaisums māksli. Un ir prieks, kad arī kinkēt māksla tā gaisa vienmēr ir redzama. Bet tā dāvana atgāda par kādu gaisu, kas ir katram cilvēkam pieejama. Jo Kristus ir sacījis, es esmu pasaules gaisa. Un tā ir vajadzīga mums šodien. During this week, we've seen great talent and great light, but especially we've been pointed to the light of the world, and that is what Latvia truly needs. The next morning, when I bid farewell to the Kincaids at the Riga airport, I said to Tom, you know what? This week was an answer to a 10-year prayer. No wonder it went so well. He answered, unbelievable. These five paintings are representations of a place and a people that I love. The Lord has moved my heart many times for these vibrant people and this beautiful land. These paintings are great visual reminders of bridges built, work God is doing, and of a great trip I will always remember. I hope that you've enjoyed the story of these five paintings as much as I've enjoyed seeing them created. I hope that you keep Latvia in your prayers as well as the ministries of Bridge Builders International and of Thomas Kincaid. Thanks to the work of this great painter, there is now a bridge built between artists, a bridge that also connects people to the love of God, the painter of light to a land that needs light, the Lord to people who need Him. Hopefully this story has touched you, and maybe we can connect you to a ministry in Latvia so that you can use your gifts and talents to become the next bridge. Thank you. Every